Oh my gosh, I've been holed up in my basement for hours, hours. I think I got down here about 11 o'clock and it's four o'clock right now. I am done, but I wanted to come to the world and share some enlightenment that occurred to me while I was in mental prayer this morning. I always pray and meditate on the word that jumps out at me, the, the phrases, the theme, something. It could be in the first reading, could be in the Alleluia, the Psalms, the Gospel, and on Sunday could even be in the second reading. Today it was the entire Psalms and I knew that God was speaking to me because I needed to be actively submissive. I needed to have God speak through me. What I did all day today was create videos for the Catholic Marketing Network, the 2020 online conference. So I'm introducing exhibitors along the conference, the people who would normally have a booth at a trade show but are online and they created their videos. So I'm learning about their business offering, their ministries, their apostolate, and I'm speaking about it before I'm introducing them before their video is shown. And it's not like it's just me, as you all know, I can talk, <laughs> right? I could sit in front of this thing for hours. And it was a little like, okay, Lord, you're gonna have to speak through me and make sure that I am highlighting what you want me to highlight. And in the end, it became one of these moments where God spoke to me in the Psalms this morning. So I am going to read briefly to you what that was. And I don't have my glasses on. I think I can do it. Psalm 51, my mouth will declare your praise. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt and of my sin, cleanse me. My mouth will declare your praise. Behold, you are blessed with sincerity of heart, and in my inmost being you teach me wisdom. Cleanse me of my sin with hyssop, that I may be purified. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. My mouth will declare your praise. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. My mouth will declare your praise. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit to sustain in me. O oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My mouth will declare your praise. And then let's top it off with the cherry on top, the Alleluia. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you to all truth. He will remind you of all I told you. It's all about the spirit here. And it's all about making sure that we go to God for confession, for repentance, to cleanse us. I looked at it yesterday, or I'm sorry, Wednesday, I went to confession. I was crying in confession. And I was crying because I put God on a shelf over the holiday weekend. I didn't attend daily mass. I didn't really do any kind of mental prayer. My morning routine was not there. I blew it off. I've always said one day of no prayer and I know. Two days of no prayer, the ones around me know. And three days of no prayer, the world knows. Even though I whipped through my rosary, whipped through my St. Bridget prayer, I just did it to check the box. I did read the daily readings, but I didn't meditate on them. I did go to Mass on Sunday, but I was feeling so distant from God. And today, I definitely needed to have God present, the Spirit moving in me. And that was when the Psalm spoke to me in so many ways. I'll proclaim, pro proclaim Him in the way that I speak to the world. He's going to come out of me if I just let Him. Be a little submissive, actively submissive. I shared this on my podcast this morning. If you don't listen every day, 
go to my website and find it, sign up for, you know, those notifications on whatever podcasting program you use. Could be Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, CastBox. I'm also on Breadbox Media. Thank you, Pete Sox. Um, that's a larger Catholic podcasting platform. So if you want to walk with me every day, 10 minutes audibly, I'm raw with y'all. And I shared how I really felt the presence of God kind of escaping me. And it was my fault. I know what to do. I know what to do. But I needed to cleanse it out. And I'm crying in confession. And I just let it all out. And the priest was like, leave here joy filled and just do the next best thing. Do what you say you're going to do to me. And so the next morning, you know what? I wanted to go back to bed, but I got up. I called on the spirit to ignite my soul, and I began my morning prayer in a way that I hadn't in a, in a few days. Because I, even after the holiday weekend, I was still struggling Monday and Tuesday to get back that spirit, that, that peace, that joy. So that's what I'm just coming to you today to say Everything we have to face is better when we go to God, when we are cleansed in his love and mercy through the act of confession. That's why I go every week. And if we are not constantly praying mental prayer, and I say it so many times, y'all, master your mind in prayer, okay? Download this, KendraVonEsch.com forward slash master your mind with dashes in between just looked at look at the YouTube video I'll put it in the description and start practicing mental prayer I am going to work on the online retreat I'm finally hearing Jesus tell me like enough already I have thousands of people that have responded to survey thousands almost tens of thousands and they need it there's too many people out there that can't keep their mind quiet, don't know what Christian meditation is, don't realize how important mental prayer is to their sanctification. We must practice mental prayer, and this download will tell you why. But the back sheet, the back page, that's why you download this electronically, because those are all links of things that you can go to. You can find out what are the nine levels of prayer, and mental prayer is only number two. Most of us can't even do that. How are we going to get in that perfect union of God where we're levitating and traveling with him and going into these, you know, ecstasy moments? Like, I want that. I seek that type of union with the Lord. And yeah, I'm not perfect. That's why I'm coming to you to say I lost him. And if I don't seek the kingdom first, nothing else is going to be given to me. It's, it's all that first, God first, the first commandment seek to love the Lord and worship the Lord and we are required to worship God that means sacrifice our time we should be wanting to be with God it shouldn't be a task and that's where things start changing when you have the spirit moving in you when you can feel God you know what he is saying right you know God's voice you can hear it in other people you can see it in nature you can feel it in your body when you're deciphering what to do and discerning spirits, you know what God's voice is. That takes time and that takes practice. So download that doc if you haven't yet and keep an eye peeled for an online retreat that I'll be putting together that you can do at your very own home. Or better yet, bring me into your parish, your conference event, your association, your group, so I can go through this with you in person. I fine tuned it. I mean, it's, and again, we're not perfect. We just need to love ourselves. Go to confession. Get it off of our chest. Don't let the devil lead you down the path in the wrong direction. Continue to turn around and ask God to take your hand and pull you up that hill, up that hill to the summit where we are supposed to be with God. All right, everyone. Try not to think so much. <laughs> Actively be submissive to the voice, to the, to the promptings, to the feelings that you have inside you, and listen to the voice of God. It's amazing when you do, even if it takes one, two, three, four, five hours to put together five 30-minute videos. <laughs> That's not too bad, actually, I think, um, and I really did feel him present. All right, everyone, I love you. Have a beautiful day. I'm going to go spend some time with my husband tonight. 
if I can get out of here but I just wanted to share that because it's been a while since I've come on video and I will see all you truth seekers on Monday morning if you want to sign up for a weekly email just look in the description and it's kendravonash.com forward slash email I'll see you bright and early 5 a.m. Central Time in Chicago I love you all so much have a blessed and inspired day take care <laughs> Loser. <laughs>